Where's the rain? I'll tell you, like 78, you look out 78, right here through the city, up into the Bronx, over into Queens, it's a little steadier. Follow that line. Again, these busy corridors in and out of town. Want to be mindful of that. You have to factor in some extra time. Got a little bit more of a soaker for parts of Suff uh, Suffolk all the way out to Riverhead, South Shore. And then you're going to see a bit of a break, Sullivan, Ulster, Duchess. There's more fog up there, though, because you got melting snow. You got, you're putting rain on top of that. It's a very dynamic situation. Follow the line, and it's, I mean, it's, it's really rough in parts of the Gulf. You're going to add three to four additional inches of rain on top of four to eight. So major flooding, and this will slowly just push through folks stranded in New Orleans. We've had some major problems through parts of Texas. We'll see more Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. Time stamping this for you, and you can see during the course of the morning, it looks like it retreats and we'll get a break, but it's going to feel fill back in for your Thursday afternoon. Right now, pretty good agreement that you will see a bit more of a break as far as precipitation goes north of the city, and it still rains to the south. Then it's a wet night overnight. Notice it's all rain because it's so mild. Friday morning, busier, and we flip the switch. The activity focuses to the north. And then the nice thing is Friday should shape up. And then Saturday is a gift before we see big changes Sunday. Here's what's happening. Lots of moisture. There's another moisture maker Sunday, but we're right on the line there where you're going to see the colder air fill in. So north and west of the city plan on accumulating snow. The problem with that is surfaces will be so mild any snow that falls closer to the city likely going to melt. So it's just going to be messy. Different kind of mess this morning. My buddy Tony out there talking about the fog, but I know you're enjoying the weather wear that we get to wear today. Hi, Tony. Hey, John, and, and that's exactly right. I mean, because you're out here and you don't have to feel weighed down by the heavy coat. It's not one of those days. And just the sharp contrast is really what gets my attention. We felt like single digits just several days ago. And now the temperatures in 40s and 50s, it feels like a totally different season. Come take a look, Mobile Weather Lab, reading about 47 degrees. Keep in mind the average low is in the upper 20s. We're close to 20 degrees above that, and it's the south wind that's done all the work. The relative humidity is impressive too, but that warm front's moved in, those temperatures have spiked. Let me show you those numbers across the area. And these aren't today's highs. No, these are numbers you're stepping out to this morning. I mean, these were numbers we were dreaming of days ago. So kind of keep that in mind as you make your way out there. Places like Woodbridge at 47. Places like Edison, you're waking up to the 40s as well. And from here, what do you wear? Well, you can lose the heavy coats because you're not going to need it. And perhaps the, the scarves, the, the winter hats and the gloves, you probably can do without most of you as well. But the umbrellas, the rain boots, the raincoats, for sure today because it is a damp out there. It's one of those mornings you're certainly going to need it. But I'll tell you, John, coming from this stretch of more, like a week and a half with lows in the 30s, this is something we'll take. And out here on the waterfront, I would not be surprised on a day like this if we did see some folks perhaps in shorts or at least not in a lot of heavy attire. But, of course, with the rain and the damp conditions, it doesn't make it too fun of a morning to be out here on a run. But it is a beautiful spot, so do us a favor. Keep a running tally of how many people are in shorts and try to highlight any shirtless people you may see. Mm, yes. You may even see, you could see some shirtless folks out there too. So, uh, Tony, have fun. Hopefully they're the runners. No, that's what I'm yeah. saying, of course. <laughs> you see a lot of things runners. out there. No, come Tony, on. Tony, thank you very much.